What's good everybody, it's the one and only the Punishing Night Gaming. Coming back to you some more Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. And that's a I left out you know the other part because it should the time is too fucking long anyway. How's everybody doing? I'm chilling. Mm, barely woke up like not too long ago, but I already had this video pretty much taken care of the jump in the team. Now I'm tell me why the fuck strike do strike I keep running like, to work. backing myself into a corner and then they just jump me? Like my special awareness is terrible. Well at least it was at the beginning. Like, you know, the first two rounds. I'm trying to get used to the map, trying to like get an idea of where to go, how to get around on that shit. But man. I was open there that's until Radiator round seven. Checked. And then I started getting nervous. Let me know when I'm in the chat. Uh, God damn, I still be thinking I'm live streaming. I'm we so addicted to that shit. Let me know in the comment section, I should say. Strike team, get down there. How are you guys liking um, Cold War Zombies? Or have you played it yet? I appreciate everybody that showed love to my <laughs> Cold War Zombies live stream. I have another one coming up soon. But this one will be adding uh, some multiplayer to it too. Because I'm starting to get into the multiplayer a bit more. I just realized that. I need to change my playstyle up to, to match or better the, the cowards that be hiding on home head glitches all day. And like use a different gun, because maybe the AK isn't the gun I should be using right now. Even though I'm trying to get it in gold, and some people are do, but I'm not gonna compare myself to nobody else. Or rush myself to try to like best be on par with them. Fuck all that. That's too kind of consuming. I'm on wave two right now, feeling good about myself. I'm like, yeah, I can definitely do this. But for far, my zombies experience has been pretty good. Like, I've exfilled at least four times right now, to higher levels, and then I have unlocked the Helen part of this campaign. She's pretty cool. Too. I run with her right now. Until I like, can get woods or somebody. But I run with her because I just like to show off that I fucking did. The people they oh, you need teammates? I'm like, nah. I've been doing this shit for years. I don't need those teammates. All I do is get in the way. I try to steal your kills. Or salvage or whatever the case may be. Fuck that. The XM4. Hmm. So it's a decent gun, but. I don't really run with the M4 like that. Or anything meta. Yeah. Yeah, I get to get to get get you guys pumped up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I like to leave little mystery edits in there. You never know what's gonna be. Handgun equipped. Hmm. M1911. I should be smacking it sometimes. And now I'm starting to understand the, the what the colors mean of the gun. Basically, if it's green, that means it's uncommon, which will be far better than your base weapon. Your ass off for me. Which it will be red. And there's also this ability to upgrade your weapons. You have to go to the armor. You know, a little s stick guy with the body armor on. And move over. Like, you gotta press the R run. Or. Whatever the. R. Whatever the button is on the. Oh, yeah, right button on Xbox. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember everything. I'm still waking up and all that, like I said before. So, my speech might be a little slurred. <laughs> Let me look. Yes, remember, you have to patch these walls and, like, boards and shit up. <laughs> I love the fucking tomahawks. That shit be going in. Especially when you don't have a lot of bullets and you have, like, at least three tomahawks and you can read them and recover them. Which one one of the things I love about this game. 
I'm on so I'm recoverable. And they do damage. And it's fucking zombies, of course he ain't for the head. I love these little special moves. I guess you can call them. Like, my most favorite right now is the Ring of Fire. That shit is like I got it all the way maxed out. But see look, I always get myself back into a corner somehow. I don't know why I do that. I guess one part is like I remember like back in the day where in Warder War, you can know, go to a particular spot. It was a glitch. You can go to jump to a particular spot and then the zombies can't attack you for at least up until at least round 15. Those days are definitely long gone unless people figure out the way to do that. But I don't really need that type of stuff. I just need to run around, make sure I pack a punch at least one weapon, and zoom around the map. That way they can you know, keep up. Always, always have at least two. Um, I don't even know what they call them on here. I'm gonna just call them first. Make them keep their distance. Two perks on here, which is Juggernaut and Stamina. Because it's Stamina, you can run faster. And with Juggernaut, you get an extra bit of health. Dang, I would say uh, 50% more health. But you gotta upgrade it in order to get the max amount of health. Because right now, my character is at 250 health as soon as I get it. Which is super fucking critical because you gotta be able to survive these later rounds and trust me, you're gonna be thanking me. Just leave that comment, um, let me know if you um, haven't figured that out yet and you'd like to try it or you have and you just like enjoy the refresher because someone actually knows what they're talking about. <laughs> but trust me, insta kill that works wonders. Instead of wasting your bullets, just melee him. Trust me, it gets the job done faster, and you won't have to spend that 250 bucks on uh, replenishing your ammo all the damn time. Because trust me, I'd be like looking like, where, damn, where my ammo go? But I think they made. Um, put a little too many um, ammo boxes around because that kind of like gives me the impression that they want to take play with zombies and like feel good about themselves because like they don't run out of ammo as much. It's like you don't need that many ammo boxes around, at least two because the zombies do drop um, max ammo. I don't say all the damn time, but they do drop them enough. And also the dogs always drop max ammo, so why do we need too many damn ammo boxes? Yeah, I'm going hammer to save shotgun. I need to spend some more time with it. To like, get it leveled up and shit. So when I use it in multiplayer, it'll just be slapping off the rip. So there's multiple spots where you can um, open up a door. You just gotta see the little door icon and see a wall with the axe. Circle and the axe in between. That way it'll notify you this area. You see, like that. Or any, whatever. X or an A, you'll know that's an, um, an area where you can remove the wall and go through it. And this is the mystery box. The mystery box is basically a staple of the Call of Duty Zombies. And, oh shit, damn fucking. Oh my god, I could have almost got a ray gun. I didn't, I didn't even know that the ray gun. Cause like, this is my second time like watching it back. Like, you know, it's. Make sure edits are good, but I didn't even realize until now that I don't know, second, one flip away from the damn ray gun. For those that don't know what a ray gun is or how powerful it is, if you just watch like some old gameplays of ray guns from World of War or Black Ops 1. That shit fucking slays up until like at least around 25. And then you have to pack a punch in, you know, for it just to keep it consistent. But that shit is a fucking god gun. Or wonder, wonder gun, as they call it, and then zombies. I'm pretty sure there's a thunder gun here, too. Or some shit like that. But I know there's some, like, some fancy ass weapons that you have to do the Easter eggs for, but you know, I don't like doing all that silly shit. Like, 
maybe I'll try to do something like that on stream. Because I do have another zombie stream coming. And salute to everybody that came through. Just show me some love. I appreciate it. And also, mods are not free. What I mean by that is, like, I'm not going to just give it to you because you ask. It's going to be something that you have to earn from me. And it's not everyone's going to get it, so... If you don't get it and you feel salty about it, and hey, it is what it is. You can go somewhere else and get a mod. <laughs> so my buddy just that shit out my candy. But anyways, that's not important here. Nope. Get fucked, zombies. They try to get they try to rip me off. Give me a fucking gun and get off the wall. I mean it's not even that strong. It's not it's a fucking green one. Like, this is where I messed up right here. There's a wall right behind me, but yet my dumbass didn't even think to open a wall. I, think it was at this moment that he I just, like, he pretty much up. gave up. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Salute to everybody. Appreciate it. I'm out.